Hey guys, this is Pratishtha and in this video, I'm going to give you all the details that you need to know about the TEF exam. So what is this TEF exam? The full form of the TEF exam is Test d'Evaluation de Francais. And if you're someone who's planning to go abroad to Canada, to France or maybe any other francophone country, this exam is a must for you. There are only two criteria that you need to follow. The first one is that you need to be more than 16 years of age. And the second one is that you need to have at least B1 level of French. In the next section, we are going to see the different varieties of TEF exams that are available. So there are basically four versions of this TEF exam. The first one is TEF IRN. If you are someone who wants to go to France, then this exam is for you. The second TEF exam is TEF Canada. If you want to move to Canada or if you want to have a citizenship in Canada, then this exam would be perfect for you. The third one is TEF AQ, which is for people who want to, who want to move to Quebec region of Canada. So this exam, uh, TEF AQ is for you. Then we have TEF Modulaire. So this exam is given by people who are specifically looking for some kind of job or uh, to study abroad uh, and abroad wherever uh, French is a native language. So in this TEF exam, you basically have five uh, modules, unlike DELF exam, which has four modules. The first one is Comprehension Écrit, which is the reading exam. The second one is Comprehension Oral, which is the listening exam. The third one is Expression Écrite, which is your writing part. And the fourth one is Expression Oral, which is your speaking. And the fifth and the final one is Lexique et Structure, which is your vocabulary part. All these uh, modules are actually optional. Uh, and that will depend on the kind of TEF exam that you're going to choose. So TEF IRN is going to have Comprehension Écrite, which is going to have 13 questions and which is to be done in 30 minutes. The second is Comprehension Oral, which will have 17 questions to be done in 10 minutes. Expression Écrite, which will have two subjects to be done in 30 minutes. And Expression Oral, which will again have two topics for you and you have to do it in 10 minutes. After that, we have TEF Canada, which is different for immigration and for citizenship. For immigration, you will have Comprehension Oral, which will have 60 questions to be done in 40 minutes. Comprehension Écrite, which will have 50 questions to be done in 60 minutes. Expression Oral will have two uh, topics to be done in 15 minutes. And Expression Écrite, again, will have two topics to be done in 60 minutes. For citizenship, it will have Comprehension Oral, 60 questions in 40 minutes. And Expression Oral, which will have two topics to be done within 15 minutes. TEF Quebec is going to have two different modules. The first one is compulsory module, which will have Comprehension Oral, that will have 60 questions to be done within 40 minutes. And Expression Oral will again have two topics to be done within 15 minutes. Optional modules will have Comprehension Écrit, 50 questions within 60 minutes. And Expression Oral, which will again have two topics to be done within 60 minutes. In the end, we have TEF Modulaire, which will have Comprehension Écrit, 50 questions to be done within 60 minutes, Comprehension Oral, which will have 60 questions to be done within 40 minutes, Expression Écrit, which will give you two topics to be done within 60 minutes, and Expression Oral, which will give you two topics to be done within 15 minutes. It also has Lexique and Structure, which will have 40 questions to be done within 30 minutes. There is again some variation in the speaking exam when you are going for TEF Canada, Quebec and Modulaire or when you are applying for TEF Integration, Residence and Nationalité. So for the TEF Canada, Quebec and Modulaire, there are two sections, Section A and Section B. In Section A, you have to ask for information uh, which could be on, an, on any subject by reacting to a short advertisement. And Section B is where you have to convince someone to do something with you after you have seen some kind of advertisement. For the TEF Integration, Residence et Nationalité, Section A would ask you to help a friend to make a decision and Section B where you have to make a request and ask questions about some advertisement. There are also some variations when it comes to writing. For the TEF Canada, Quebec and Modulaire, Section A, you will have a, a 
press article where you have to complete that article in 80 words. In section B, there would be a reaction to a statement and to give your own point of view, which would be approximately 200 words. For the TEF Antigaracion Residence et Nationalité, you again have two parts. Section A, where you have to write a message asking for some kind of news. And section B, where you have to explain your motivations and convince someone to do something. So TEF and DELF are two very different exams. TEF is valid for only two years, while DELF is valid for your whole life. One single test in the, uh, of TEF will cover all the six levels of the CEFR. And uh, on the other side, uh, one diploma is considered per level of CEFR. Uh, CEFR levels are basically A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. TEF would have five sections which are either compulsory or optional depending on the kind of TEF exam that you're given, giving. And DELF, no matter what the CEFR level is, you'll have four sections only, which is reading, listening, writing and speaking. Uh, the reading, listening and lexic and structure in the uh, TEF exam will come in the form of the MCQ. While in DELF exam, reading and listening will come in the form of a questionnaire or like question forms and there would be some MCQs. The writing in the TEF exam would be in the form of some multiple essays kind of a thing. While the writing in the DELF exam would be in the form of a single essay and an interview. The TEF exam uh, will have each section marked out of 699 points. While the DELF exam, every section is going to be marked out of 25 marks and the marks are then added to give you a score out of 100.